Uh, my name is Sean Miyashiro from ADA Rising. Let's oh, get it. I'm sorry, what was that? I just said, let's get it. Idiot Rising is the most historic, best music label in the world, bro. But deeper than that, I think we're a family of creators that uh, certainly music is a big part of it, but we aim to just tell stories or in whatever medium that just make people happy and inspire people. We started as more of a media company doing video, everything from Japanese mixology to crazy art to certainly music. And what ended up happening is because we're so small, some of our music stuff just popped off. I always worked in music, like even since I was really young, I was just in music, I was throwing events. I was like doing marketing for, for artists and like brands in music, right? So I was always like in it, but in my late twenties, I just like decided to go to New York and uh, came over here with my suitcase and I just never, I never went back home. Dude, I struggled to be honest in New York, bro. Was, I didn't have shit. I would just stay in the Bronx and work all day, every day, bro. Just stay in the Bronx and like, I would go to Dunkin' Donuts and that's where I would get Wi-Fi because I don't want to work all day at my house. And that's where ADA Rising was built. I mean, I just put together a PowerPoint, you know, and uh, had some nice pictures. And I was like, look, we're going to make the vice for Asian culture. And people were like, yeah. I liked him. I really didn't care what business he was in. I knew he was uh, just a guy that was going to be a winner. You know, somebody's going to really make something happen. What he was, was an idea. Sean is an idea into himself. So anyone like that, you get behind. And if I was still at Interscope at that point, I would have grabbed him for Interscope easily. I just think he's a guy with, with feel and soul that can deliver on his promise. And he gets, he knows how important the artists are. And um, he's got an idea that I believe he can complete. Bro, growing up in the Bay Area made me. I lived in like the most perfect neighborhood. You have all types of kids, Latin, Latin Americans, Mexicans, African Americans, white, Asian. And we're all just playing together. You go outside and you're able to get inspired by taste different foods, go to, go to my homie's house and listen to different music. I just fell in love with music at a very early age and I started to figure out how to consume good music and try to find it through my friends. And that was like my pastime, is just going to the record shop. I mean, the perfect like American experience of what it was in the 80s and 90s. And when I was 13, I really wanted to go to America because that's kind of when I started exploring comedy. And I remember just like being on Twitter and just like learning the American sense of humor. It was really confusing at first because it was just like so different from the Indonesian sense of humor. I think working with Sean has been amazing because he's a manager, but he's also a lot of other things. He's an A&R, he's like a creative. And like you could tell he like thinks a lot about creative stuff and like he has a really good vision. I love it when artists kind of do things that are not really caring about what's trending or like what people like. I don't know, I, I feel like not enough people do that nowadays. But we like decided, we, we have a plot like, go do it in this way, we'll go over here and then we'll meet in the middle or something. Yeah, like the right side of the brain. We've never collaborated with anybody, but we've worked with 88 Rising now. I think that when you're out here on the internet streets and you're, and you're putting up videos and stuff, like it's just important to have someone. And I think that 88 Rising, is that same energy but in a different direction so they have this collective music this thing that's timeless but then it's like very much of the time i think it has been an upward battle the entire time trying to get recognized and trying to gain credibility in this space but i feel like people are recognizing like where 80 is at so i think more than highs and lows just like constant like upward trend We've already done the internet shit. Well, you can only go viral so many times, right? 
now we're putting out the shit that we feel is better than everything, but like we can't rely on dude like some internet phenomenon happening every time. We have to, you know, people have to support us. Eighty Eight Rising is a constant daily evolution. A year ago or six months from now, we're is, is way different than we are today. We just do shit. Some some of it works, some of it doesn't. But like the stuff that works, it like really takes us to the next level. And all these different energies are happening around us, and that's gonna spark a lot of passion. Passion sparks people trying stuff, and the more people that try, there's gonna be like you know the diamonds in the rough, right? The people that change the course of history. This is my American experience.